it just goes to show you that I think in Australia, people don't know how good we've got it here and how lucky we are and how it can be taken away from us. Mm. There are people who want to, you know, see chaos. They want to see the government fall, you know, uh, the system break down. And I think that's one of the biggest fears that I have is uh, this push and drive to make the public lose faith in the system, lose faith in our government and elected officials is only leading to one outcome. And that's exactly the type of outcome you know, that we've seen in, in countries in Africa, mm. you know, look where the, the, the breakdown of society, the collapse of civilization, but then a force or a foreign entity coming in to install their takeover mm. and their control of the country that's not in line with the values of the country or the people who created that country. It, yeah. Ben, do you know, um, I think for, for me, the last four or five years, has it's been exciting to watch that the conversation of politics just come back to the table. Uh, I think it was very fashionable for us not to talk about politics. Nobody, people want to avoid it. Now it's so much in your face and creating a, a critical conversation around politics, any conversation's great, but I'm just so surprised, at, and myself included, that didn't talk politics four or five years ago, wasn't interested, left it to other people. Um, and then realising the mess we've got ourselves in when we've given our power over to the government uh, and then having to take that power back and bring that conversation back. It's just been amazing that people are ready to have the conversation, want to have the conversation, and more than that, they actually want to get involved and do something about it. That's mm. been great. I think it's fantastic, and it just goes back to your, your, your point you made. It's, there's a lot of foreign interference now in Canberra. That's been, that's been talked about. Foreign agents, um, mm. you know, we, we, we discovered a spy nest. Yeah. You know, the ASIO come out and admitted that. Yeah, um, in India, India, China. Or foreign countries are coming in and in the political sphere, they're everywhere. Mm. And it's not just the typical nations you think. It's all different nations with all different agendas, but their goal is not to, to look after Australia. Their goal is to further their nation's own interests. And it's terrifying because if you look in Canberra, all the staffers and bureaucrats, well, not all the bureaucrats, but some of the bureaucrats, but particularly the staffers of MPs, politicians, they don't have a lot of them don't have to get security clearance. Yeah. So you look at that, and that's a, that's a huge red flag. If you step foot in that that building to work, you should all be security cleared through uh, through our intelligence agencies. But currently, we don't have that, and it's it's frightening. It's absolutely frightening yep. the security situation. And it's shocking how cheaply they can be bought off. A few oh, thousand. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, a few thousand, you yeah, know. That's right. And that's um and some of the old you know, there's all the ones that are like, you know, obvious. It was floating around political they were around last election, floating around all the smaller parties and stuff like that. And now they're trying to get into big parties and they, they, they always pop up, they're like a whack a mole, you know, <laughs> and they're popping up everywhere and they think they're clever. And a lot of them are, but there are some that are very, very clever, very, very good and dangerous. Mm. And the problem is it's become an epidemic. And if you speak to MPs from say you know, 25, 30 years ago, you mentioned all the time, they go, is that what it's become? It's never like that when I was in. Yeah. But then you look at the decline of our yeah. parliament, you're starting to put two and two together, mm. you know, but that's, yeah. I think John Anderson got the shock of his life when he went for pre-selection in 2021 of the Nationals Party and he saw where that fell. Mm. That was terrible. That was a disgrace, what happened mm. there. Stephen. C can I say, um, nothing makes socialism more appealing than